right, so today we're gonna be doing a French press coffee uh, homemade version. Now, this is pretty simple to do. You can use whatever type of coffee you want. Right now I'm using a dark roast coffee and I believe it's some monster coffee. Now, if you're only doing one cup, I'd recommend doing about a scoop of this thing, which I think is about, probably about a tablespoon. So probably two scoops of this. And since it's just me, um, I'm gonna put just two tablespoons because that goes a long way. And I already had a table scoop in here, so we're set on that. Now, as that's happening, as you can see over here, you're gonna wanna have boiling water because the hotter the water, the better the press, the more delicious it is. Now, while that's boiling, you're going to have a frother and you're gonna to wanna to put the milk in there, not too much because it will over froth and spill. But if you don't have a frother, you can use a French press without the coffee in it. Um, once once you, you can put milk in the French press, about a cup of it, and it has to be heated up to it's a little bit steamy. So I'd say about put it in the microwave for a minute 45, put the milk in there, put the plunger on top, and just plunge away until it's nice and foamy. Now, I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and let that bad boy do his thing. Now pick your coffee cup that you want to use, preferably a big one because this stuff does take up a lot of space. I'm using my Hawaii one and it's nice and big. Now this is coming to a boil, this is good. And once it starts getting hot, I'm gonna put it in this thing. Um, the water's boiling now, but I'm gonna give it like 10 more seconds because it just started boiling. But once it gets to this, that's when you know your coffee's good enough and you can turn off the oven right now. And what you're going to do with your boiling hot water is move it over to the sink because if this water spills over here, then you're screwed because it's daggum hot. Um, preferably, it would be nice if you had a teapot, but if you don't, like me, I'm using this. Since you have your coffee now with your French press, what you're gonna to wanna to do is steer slowly to make sure all the grains aren't just sitting there and so you can stir the grains around. All right, now what you're gonna do after that is put your French press on and there's two methods you can use. One, you can just either push it down all the way immediately right now but the method I'm using right now is let it sit for four minutes so all the grains can sink.
foam if you want to. I just put, I didn't really put a lot of foam this time. And then one last thing you can do, a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, wow, cinnamon. You can either mix it up or not, but I'm just gonna mix it up to be sure. No. Alright, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something.